In this video, we're going to look at the revised PCBSD control panel in version 9.1. One of the things that makes PCBSD different from other operating systems, and even from other types of BSD, is a focus on easy management and configuration. PCBSD isn't designed around any one given window manager or workflow. A one-size-fits-all approach works well if an operating system has a static software configuration, but PCBSD needs the same functionality across every potential window manager. To this end, the PCBSD control panel is equipped with a drop-down menu that lets the user change settings on a per-window manager basis, regardless of which window manager they are currently using. I'm currently running GNOME, but based on the drop-down, I can also change options for any other window managers PCBSD supports. Many of the items end up being duplicates in the All view, because each window manager tends to have its own version of a management tool. I'll briefly run through the list and identify the items of interest, particularly those which are unique to PCBSD. App Cafe is an application manager for PCBSD. It allows the user to access an up-to-date library of PBI applications pre-compiled for PCBSD. Installation and management are handled with a single click from the App Cafe browser. Easy PBI is a piece of software designed to assist users in creating their own PBIs. The various system management tools tend to be very self-explanatory. However, it's worth noting that the About option is a quick and easy way to check your PCBSD version and see other important system information. Any icon with a yellow shield is locked and cannot be opened without entering the root password. These generally pertain to options and settings for system-critical components and are locked both for security and to obviate the need for a warning dialog. Take care modifying any properties with a locked icon. System Manager is locked but incredibly useful. It offers a separate utility that allows easy management of packages, mirrors, and other miscellaneous system options. If you missed a package during the installation process, you can get it through System Manager using the same interface. In case you haven't already, one of the places you can access the Update Manager is right here. I have a green check mark because my system is up to date already. If you have the feature enabled, the tray icon for the Update Manager will alert you when updates are available. If not, this is one of the ways to manually check. Hardware options are again fairly self-explanatory. The one that may be most commonly needed is the display properties. Because of the way in which X is written, you'll have to restart manually to change your resolution and display drivers. This is generally a non-issue if you've taken care of it on the first boot. Networking offers a place to change your interface, settings, and other options about your network connection. Particularly, the firewall manager is the tool you need if one of your applications is being blocked or needs a special port opened. Desktop environment is mostly for visual options and settings that relate to the look and feel of PCBSD and the specific window manager that you're configuring. Lastly, the Tools group contains the options for Flash Player, as well as links to Life Preserver and Warden. Life Preserver is an automatic backup utility that has excellent plug-and-play compatibility with a free NAS server. Once configured, Life Preserver can automatically backup your chosen files and directories to the free NAS server without any management or input. Warden is a graphical utility which makes the management of FreeBSD jails much easier. It's simple to control one or many jails from Warden, giving the user an easy way to run isolated applications securely from the desktop. This has been a very general overview of each of the options in the PCBSD control panel. For more information on setting up FreeNAS for backups, please refer to our in-depth video. For more information on PCBSD, please visit pcbsd.org for documentation, news, and more.